Alright, what's up, you guys? Time for another video. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this because it's been all over the news every fucking day. Every time you have the television on, you're seeing about it. And people are... It's putting people in the hospital quicker than some of these drugs. I mean, and what's kind of staggering, unlike uh, shit like the opioid epidemic, where there's... Like, yes, there is a lot of shit like that. You get... Uh, there's some bad shit out there that'll kill you right on the spot. And, uh... But now the vaping thing, which is totally legal, but now they're watching, they're talking, they're talking about if uh, any of the vaping devices people are modifying them illegally. Now you can have potential for uh, these uh, people that deal in the illegal narcotics making bootleg uh, vaping uh, devices that uh, to con as covers to conceal. Um, the use of certain drugs where, where the cops or the authorities would see a vaping pen it would like cover up you know a diversion from the uh, classic paraphernalia that the cops look for and you know cops are going to be on to that shit but whatever reason they're, they're trying to blame that and yeah there's a lot of that going around but uh, yet uh, there's other kind of shit that they're uh, even without uh, it being cover for illegal drugs, and there, without that, there's still uh, something in that shit that's actually killing people and making people have these fits too much of a certain chemical, but yeah, it's totally legal. And at the same time, these people are damaging people's bodies on purpose. They want their experiment with stuff that doesn't just damage the body, to damage, weaken the brain, because it's a... Uh, these people, these like, they're kind of like narco -com communists, and what people were not looking at is, you know how you see all these uh, political bullshit going around, conflicts between these, they're pushing this transgender movement, and it's not like you're out to harm anybody because that's their choice, but yet, you people are under attack now if you just, hey, live and let live, and don't you don't want to beat up or hard or hurt anybody for what they are, you know what I mean? It's, uh, you're walking around with a cocky look on your face, you know? Yeah, your tolerance, their life don't force it down my throat. You're not a diehard conservative, you know? Hey, I ain't no liberal or no conservative either. I mean, what do they, these people don't know what to do. People like us that want to be strong and smart and uh, not obedient to that shit. But anyway, what people are not looking at is uh, this, um, uh, like regressive liberal movement and it's all this victim movement they want to make people like sick and instead of selling illegal narcotics to actually finance their shit like uh everybody that uh that hates anybody that want to walk around strong or smart and and then some of us that if you're not no diehard liberal but not no conservative either uh they're easy to identify and easy to attack, but the rest of us, they don't know what to do with people, say like me. Uh, or... But what this shit is doing, they need something to fund their movement of, other than uh, illegal narcotics. Uh, all these uh, neo-communist, uh, everything from these transgender movements, you know, uh, that uh, uh, are there just not the, nothing but to cause trouble. Uh, get into everywhere politically. Uh, I mean, deliberately to stir up, uh, stir up all these uh, political conflicts. And like I said, they're not satisfied with the rest of us who just, yeah, we don't assault anybody for who they are, you know. But we walk, we have the right to walk around with a cocky look on our face because we know they're not satisfied. Uh, you got to worship these people or else, and they want to get their followers and their sheep addicted to these. Like vaping pens. Oh yeah, they'll and they want to introduce like the antidepressants, the psychotropics. If you want to look at it politically, it's all they're using it to, cause the the uh, to fund all their shit without. Uh, I mean, they want to get these younger people's minds. You know, they want everybody to be perpetually childlike. It's like the liberal, the far left counterpart, opposite trait of the. Bible thumping, 
conservative, which I don't consider myself as. Uh, I have some of their views in my own way, but I'm an embarrassment and conservative. I have a right. I uh, believe you should have a right to bear arms, but not the right doesn't give you the right to go around waving gun for at somebody for stupid shit. You know what I mean? So some like, well, that's just one of the examples. You know, right to bear bear arms. I talked about that in videos too, but that doesn't mean you pull a gun on somebody because of uh, you get an argument about some stupid shit and, and you don't do anything like if somebody you know, beats you down at a public place in Walmart, you don't pull a gun because it's uh, risks there. You know, why would you? But I mean, it's not, this is like off the subject, but uh, it kind of relates. Well, I'm trying to say, for example, there was some some uh, some people will say, well, I believe in a certain thing, and I'll get called a conservative. But then you you look at me on YouTube and what the stuff that I do, some of these diehard Bible thumping conservatives. I'm not Bible thumping enough. I'm not no Bible thumper enough. I have. I um. Kind of um, have this tendency to be uh, picking apart and uh, critical about. The Bible thumping beliefs, and then the people with their Aleister Crowley nonsense. That Rebel gives one thing, then the other, and then the gender movements of all kinds. And how some of the people, you know, they're satisfied that if you leave them alone and don't politically attack them, don't act like you want to beat them up. That some of them are satisfied, but there's a lot of ones that wants to stir up political trouble, protests, and big old keep spectacles going, and aren't satisfied. You know what I mean? But, okay, and there's also the thing, not that I'm a diehard Trump person, but uh, remember that one video on YouTube about uh, a guy coming in as a customer wearing a MAGA hat, you know, Trump. The guy is be paid his job to behind the counter, all right, is to uh, make the transaction because it's his fucking job. Who the fuck cares what hat they're wearing? He ain't, uh, hey, if he, he ain't a Trump person, it's, you know. But, um, like, yeah, I was stirring up some big old, you know. But yet the guy with the MAGA hat, what I say about him, why is he buying that shit for anybody? Because it's poison. And the minute he, this guy with the MAGA hat, the Trump support hat, saw the fit that this guy was having because of the hat, he should have been looking at, uh, whoa, geez, if this is what that vaping pens do, you know, the person behind the counter, even though it's his job. He's probably using the shit, and there's people that they're taking large amounts of whatever chemical besides nicotine, and they, they're withdrawn for even a second. Or you might need to smoke more and more and more, and it's damaging you, you know. And He should have walked out of there and decided not to buy any of that shit, because that's what that shit seems to be doing, people. It's, well, it's putting people in the hospital, and... There's a lot of other shit besides that that they want to do that shit on purpose to get people addicted to uh, pharmaceuticals because it's a uh, you. They're using it to fund things politically. They're bigger. They're these these people are bigger than uh, than your narcotics in some in some cases in some instances. Depends on where it's at. You know what I mean? Uh, some of the biggest uh, dealers of uh, stuff that's totally legal that's not putting people in a hospital and it wants everybody to be addicted to and they want equality extremism and to get that they don't want you to be strong and smart practicing anything what I'm doing on YouTube or they don't want you uh, people on there maybe with their yoga mats or with their weightlifting even though they're endorsing on TV fitness machines and whatever the heck they are they don't want you to have any beliefs of your own and walk around with a cocky look on your face and be strong and smart. Um, they got to get people addicted to chemicals at a young age. Uh, uh, vaping pens, you know, things are totally legal and it's they, they got to damage, damage the brain a little bit, get them. Damage the body and the brain a little bit. That's how they fucking brainwash people. I mean... There's like these, uh, whether it's shit like that or illegal drugs, there's these people that are in groups, whether you call it cults or whatever the hell too. They want to get somebody on one thing and 
make them willingly deprive themselves of protein or any kind of thing that makes the brain smart or strong. And then they'll turn around and twist it around. They're running some of the uh, places that, like you go in your workplaces, that's hypocrites, even though they supposedly have these drug tests. They, these think people are bad at just as common core education in the public schools, but they're going in the workplaces with these uh, rule books that are in workplaces. They have that little disguise, you know, your token little drug test that you only have to take once. But they have these um, typical little, I read one, some of the well, bosses of one place I worked was actually even rolling his eyes. A boss that was kind of an asshole, but he was rolling his eyes at some of these rules. They're twisting it. These, the biggest purveyors of this shit, they're literally twisting it so to attack discreetly, not too obvious, but uh, they're twisting it around to attack people like us that want to be strong and smart. And they're putting in there like, say, I mean, the rules, they're changing the rules for... Uh, symptoms of a drug addict and all that and they're creating uh, they're putting shit on a list like a um, lot of symptoms of critical thinking and having your own mind and they'll define things they'll define as argumentative and they'll try to associate that with drug use and twist it around and they're actually the biggest purveyors of uh, the drug use like a place that I worked at was a glass factory that, yeah, you get a drug test and they, half their relatives are on this heroin and they're selling in the damn places. And they turn around and these people are the sheep. And then they'll, they'll, oh, they'll do this drug token drug test. And then if you're uh, the outspoken one and knows shit going on and is keeping outspoken about stuff and not necessarily having a big mouth, but you're critical about certain things and cynical about something. They'll flag you as some kind of drug addict and keep saying it repetitively. And meanwhile, all their relatives are either with these vaping pens and uh, everything damn else and uh, all kind of other drugs. And they just let that slide because, come on, you go to a workplace, one little drug test and then, bam, that's it. They, they, people laugh at that shit, you know what I mean? Uh, but if you go and tell somebody, I says, well, I'd be for an extra incentive and be willing to uh, take extra drug tests on surprise. They look at you kind of funny, you know what I mean? Uh, but, I mean, you know, I mean, they twist it, twist it upside down. I mean, uh, so the vaping, uh, vaping pen, just another thing they want to get, they want to start, like, damage the body, but, yeah, just put people in the hospital with permanent lung damage, and there's some people now I'm seeing on the news that are damn near, uh, so bad that pretty much uh, they don't got too long to live. Their lungs are just totally, uh, well, like uh, I saw uh, one guy said, quote, he has, the, I think, barely 20, and he has the lungs of a 80-year-old now or whatever the hell. And, but yet an 80-year-old that doesn't do any of that shit, uh, some of them even can run a little bit. It's rare, but some of them do, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, and then you get these uh, these people with, uh, you know, they got like these people with the vaping pens too. They were, they were doing this shit on purpose. Like I told a couple of stories of where I was blowing the smoke, like way big cloud of smoke in front of people. And what the fuck's wrong, people? Nobody's saying anything. And then you almost want to go and say, I, I don't know, going to bore you with all the details, but. Um, you want to say something like, hey, um, and then you got these other people, what the fuck, that they are they know you're about to say something, that they give you this look, don't even, like, they give you and you're this look, right, don't even think about uh, looking my way and think, you know what I mean? Like, you know how you'll get this dirty look and say, don't even think about bringing me into it or saying anything around me or, or whatever. I mean, I kid you not, they're... Uh, Quite a few incidents, either at bus stations, you know, near places where uh, I work for a charity on the holidays or out, like, you know, uh, somewhere in public places. People are just blowing this big puff of smoke and nobody's even saying anything because uh, either people are too brainwashed uh, or whatever the hell. Uh, 
like freaking zombies. Like, and then anybody that you know goes to say anything or looks like you're going to say anything, they get these dirty looks, and uh, you they tell you off. I mean, I kid you not. I mean, I'm around that. And, uh, so there is some kind of other like intellectual and political brainwashing that's going on, even though you can't tell what a total stranger it's not logical to try to speculate any bunch of strangers around you with political or religious or anything side on you but uh, I mean that they ha you can't speculate um, not at all with which uh, political side they are not at all you know what I mean but it's just how they're uh, basically how they're behaving you know what I mean these people uh, you got these people that'll just right out in the open, do stupid shit, either below that, right all over the place. And, but yet, if it was you doing something else that's considered offensive uh, unwittingly, man, all over your case, it's like almost like these people can sense, like if you're not one of their sheep, you know what I mean? Uh, passive aggression out there and all that. But, but yeah, pe people still want this shit, you know, and and it's actually killing people and it's like getting to a point where they're trying to actually outlaw it and I would have it investigated but but vaping pen is just like um, the tip of the iceberg there's a lot of other shit out there that's totally legal and they're getting people addicted to and it's used to finance all this uh, new neo-communist like movement that they're trying to create trying to get people out of office and then use tactics out there and in the world to gradually shame some of us down or uh, use little gang stalking or gaslighting. They, yeah, that word gaslighting I think is kind of funny too. Uh, I wanted to do, do a video on that. It's just the name it's given, but yeah, that's, I actually, well, there's friend, there's people like me, like friends I have that are both black and white. We don't know what the fuck gaslighting is. We call it fucking with people. Yeah, they're fucking with you. And just like the Suicidal tendency song. I love that band. Black black gentleman with a Pittsburgh Pilot Ritz hat on there on guitar, you know, and everything else. Um, and a different subject of one of their favorite songs and uh, one of their CDs. They're fucking with me subliminally. They're fucking with me subliminally. So they're fucking with you subliminally on TV. And you'll get fucked with if people can tell by looking at you you're not falling for it. You're not... Uh, doing everything or that's hip or with the sheep, you know, and people can actually really see it, you know what I mean? And, and then uh, you got to be doing these pen, vaping pens now, and you got to be in whatever else they're making legal now. Oh, if you're not prostrating yourself or bowing down to it or whatever, uh, whether it's the legal mar legalized marijuana or whatever, even you I don't care if somebody does it, somebody's sick. Oh, man, you're... And they did on my uh, social media. I mean, you're willing to let people have shit because they're sick, man. There are people jumping your shit. I said, yeah, it's for people that are sick and they want to make people sick. And, and uh, you're even though you're willing to let them have it, fuck it, you know. The minute you say it's the great Nebuchadnezzar, or and you're you're expected to prostrate yourself, bow down to it. Oh man, they they jump your shit. They get mad, you know. Why is that? Yeah, tell me why is that. Yeah, they get all like damn pissed off and everything else, um, and uh, then the uh, gender uh, shit. Now that people want to identify as this or that, you fuck it. You know, hey, it's it's not my life; it's your life. Go ahead and do it. Um, you don't bow down to the transgender kinesor. It's uh, you're willing to. I don't care your life, you know, but. Uh, People will jump your shit. You're so prior to worship it. And to get people to actually, the younger generations to actually go for this shit, they're putting out these vaping pens, damaging the brain, making it, and um, everything that's like considered, uh, all the bullshit that people are putting in their body is considered hip. It's also a brainwashing tool, a brainwashing chemical. You tell them that they're laughing in your face. I says, uh, 
they don't consider themselves a bunch of brainwashed sheep. They they consider themselves the what do you call it? That fancy word, the status the status quo, the in group, and you're just a low life. You know what I mean? It, they, you can make anything right or wrong by gathering a mob. You can make what's wrong right and what's right wrong, what's good evil and what's evil good. Uh, in this fake ass little uh, mortal world we're in, you know, that's actually corrupt the whole thing. Right or wrong isn't right or wrong, and uh, this or that isn't really what it really is. What actually makes it what is is depends on where the fuck you're at and who can gather the mob and dictate to you what it is. And if you don't go along with it, you you could either be uh, shamed, beat up, or even eventually arrested. If you know you get the neo communist types, you know they want to put their police in or whatever, or, or they change the books especially for these people, and then uh, you're a cop and you have to follow along with this if a law is broken and they can make whatever illegal and hey yes, this person has this mouth he's discreetly says this or that or thinks this or that or walks around too cocky uh there's no crime so they want to redefin redefine violence too you can walk around with a cocky look on your face and do things to make your or have practices to make yourself stronger smart or whatever you don't even got to do anything it's like they're gradually putting uh like that youtuber who uh, that calls himself sinatra speaks or sinatra says uh, he says it way better than me. That's why it's, I'm with that guy, you know what I mean? But yeah, redefin, redefine violence, you know? All you got to do is walk around with a cocky look on your face and not give a fuck about these, some of these people. And that's why I have my rule, you know? Uh, live and let live, but don't force it down my throat. And my saying for that is uh, when a rat's ass should be offered or given. Uh, you can't really give a rat's ass because the ass of the rat is not really... The ass of this rodent isn't really yours to give. It belongs to that rodent, you know what I mean? Uh, so let that rat keep his ass, you know? But yet, it, they don't. They can't dictate to you uh, when a rat's ass should even be offered or given. And so if rat, the rat's ass being offered up means you're willing to play ball with him a little bit and, and you know, tolerate something you know and try to reason things out you know and and tolerate them and play the game that's called offering up the rat's ass and you're doing them a favor by offering up the rat's ass you don't have to give a rat's ass you know yeah so it's all about uh it's all about presentation you know when the rat's ass should be offered or given you know uh so this is kind of like random. The only reason I'm making this is um, basically hidden messages from, well, not so uh, hidden, special messages for people you already didn't know me. It doesn't matter if it gets views or not, but it gets the views, believe me, one place or another, even though it gets only two views. So uh, Anybody else that uh, has a problem with it, basically go fuck a porcupine. I can give a shit less, but...